Uh, weekdays 10 to 4. Love it. What's up? It's Luis from America's Best Restaurants, and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. So this week, we're in Alexandria, Kentucky, and we're at a restaurant. It's a staple. It's been around for 37 years, and it's called Empress Chili, and we're going to get to talk to the owner, Steve. We're going to get to try some of their amazing chili items, like their three-way and their coney, plus a couple of other things. So I know you're hungry because you're watching this, so why don't you come with me? Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, so now we are inside Empress Chili. We're here with the one and only Steve. So Steve, number one, thank you for having us. Really, really appreciate it. So I wanna ask you this, I know off camera we were talking and you told me that you guys have been around for 37 years, is that right? Going on 37 years. So how did you get into this industry, tell me? Well, I was in school, okay. in college, and uh, my father owns a pharmacy that I was working in. And the gentleman was doing the franchising at the time. Okay. Uh, Bill came in and he says, hey, have you ever thought about opening up a restaurant? And I said, no, I haven't. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> okay. so uh, he, he mentioned a few things about it. And I said, well, let's get together a little bit later and talk about it. Uh, so decided to choose a different path in school. Okay. And uh, growing up, my mom uh, if we had a party or something, it was we had more food than what people had to take food. Of. Okay. So uh, we always helped prep all that and, and get that ready. So I like I like cooking, and uh, my father and grandfather in the pharmacy, and my uncles have owned uh, some uh, grocery stores mm -hmm. and other businesses. Mm -hmm. And I like business, so um, jumped into it. Okay, so it was kind of like a natural thing for you. It, it, it was, it was never thought of at the okay. time. And uh, it came uh, came in a point in life where um, it seemed like a good thing to do. Love it, love it, that's awesome. So in, in uh, from what I understand, because we were talking off camera, like your whole family works here, right? Yes. I know your daughter, shout out to Alicia, she's off camera. So uh, everybody works here, pretty we, much. I have five siblings and wow. uh, there's 29 grandchildren. Wow. Uh, that my father and mother have. And they've all worked here except for one. And uh, hopefully this summer he'll he'll be the last one. And then we've got a little break, and then we'll get into the grandchildren. Okay. So all right. We've had uh, we are very uh, family based restaurant. I love it. Uh, at any point in time, up to a couple years ago, you came in at the whole staff was family. Uh, we had very some. Cool. Um, I don't want to call them outsiders. We had uh, friends, <laughs> friends of the friends of the nieces and nephews that uh, came and worked, and, and they became family. Okay. So uh, our whole um, history of the um, employees have mm -hmm. all been uh, generally brought to us by family. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, and, and I mean, you can you can kind of tell from this environment too. I mean, you've been around for 37 years, so obviously you're doing something right. And I remember you asked, right before we started filming, you asked our team, hey, how'd you guys find us? So shout out to Randy off camera, because Randy's eating here like forever. So, you know, he, he loves his restaurant, so, you know, we're super happy that we're here. And obviously you guys do chili, right? So let's, let's get into the food, because obviously that's your claim to fame, right? So let's start right here. What is this? Because I've never seen this before. This is a chili pizza. Okay. We started in 1985. Okay. And uh, I was 23 years old when I opened up. Mm -hmm. And about uh, 89, uh, 1989, uh, Empress was the first. Mm. They had a gentleman that was associated with them uh, that uh, made pizzas mm -hmm. and uh, said, hey, let's try this. And we did it. And it's been a mainstay throughout all these years. It's a big item and people that are not from the area and our immediate area mm -hmm. doesn't really know about them and don't know what they're missing. Well, I didn't know about it, but it's really good. I actually like the flavor of that chili. I like the onions on it. Really, really good. 
it's on a seven inch fresh dough bar baked uh, pizza crust. So it's not a traditional pizza that you mm -hmm. pick up and eat by the slice. Right. It's made to be eaten with a fork and knife. Boom, so I came prepared. There you go. Awesome. So what is this one right here? This is a what we call our chicken salad plate. Okay. We make a homemade chicken salad that uh, my, mom and I uh, developed a, a recipe for. Mm -hmm. So it's our own unique recipe. And uh, it's a, a big seller. Uh, those two items, along with our chili, are in the sandwiches are, are, are our most popular items really? that we have. And uh, every so often we'll come up with a, another uh, mom recipe that we would okay. go ahead and feature. But that's on the menu all the time and available in a sandwich or this is called a chicken. Oh, plate. nice, nice. So let me ask you this, Steve. What's your favorite item in the menu? My favorite item, I eat chili every day. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will mix it up with uh, the chicken salad and, and, the, and the pizza. So that so you just put it pretty much on everything. I it doesn't eat, matter what it is. I you're have like, to have the I'm chili in. every day. To, when somebody says it doesn't taste right, I can tell them exactly how it tastes because okay. I have it. I love it. That's awesome. Now this right here, kind of like a staple in Cincinnati. Tell me, what do we got? We got a cheese coney. Boom. And that was uh, developed back in 1922. Uh, two uh, brothers came from Macedonia, mm. and um, they were outside the uh, so Empress uh, Burlesque Theater, and they had a little hot dog stand, and they just called it. They don't. They didn't call it chili back then. They just called it uh, sauce, mm. hot dog sauce, and uh, they put it on a so hot good. dog, and then it was born. They so good. So I really like the flavor of that chili. Thank really, you. really good. Well, Empress is the original. In 1922, it was started on the hot dog stand. And uh, throughout the years, uh, as the a lot of the Greeks uh, immigrated over, mm -hmm. they would uh, kind of naturally be drawn to the chili items and stuff. That's uh -huh. what they they were um, accustomed to making and working with the other uh, uh, nationality. And when they there's been several of them that have started their own chains. Okay. Uh, some of the most popular chains, they actually started working for the Karaja family and uh, and then broke off to uh, start their own. Hmm. Very interesting. But you also have other items that are not chili, but you, you probably go in and put some chili in there, right? No, not on this. Not on this? No, you, can't, you don't even dip you, it? You, no, you come on, you Steve. Your, you can't ruin our double decker. <laughs> All right, so tell me what we got. We got a ham and beef uh, <laughs> and cheese uh, double decker. Uh, we we started that when we when we first started uh, okay. to give people an option. Uh, something we don't have here is our salads. We've got uh, chef salads and toss salads, side salads. And somebody can come into our restaurant and not eat chili every day. If they want to come in every day, they can hit one day have chili, next day mix it up and have a, a sandwich. Uh, the next day they can mix it up with a salad and a couple cheese coatings. So they, they have a variety. To, uh, we aren't just chili. Okay. Um, we didn't take chili off of our name like some of our competitors did. Uh, we've always had these items. Uh, so uh, if somebody thinks of Emperor's Chili, they're not only thinking chili, a lot of them thinking double decker. Love it. Love it. And then this final item right here? That's our staple uh, of our, our products. It's our three way, nice. which uh, three way is spaghetti, chili, and cheese. They're not from around this area. Um, and then it also can have four-way, which would include onions or beans, and a five-way nice. with that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Look, everybody, if you're looking for more restaurants like Empress Chili, if you like restaurant content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know what whenever we drop a new episode. Now, Steve, let me ask you, how can people find out more information about Empress Chili? Well, we've got a website yep. that they can go to. It's EmpressChiliAlexandria.com or they can see it, see us on uh, Twitter and Instagram and uh, Facebook. Smoke signals, Morse code, everything. Right? Everything, we'll take it there all. There you go, follow Smell of Chili and you just come here to Empress Chili. Look, make sure you support local restaurants. You gotta come to Empress Chili. Actually, that's the best way. What's the address here? It's 7934 Alexandria Pike, Alexandria, Kentucky. Love it, you gotta come here. Look, if you're local, like Randy, who's off camera, you gotta come here on a weekly basis. If you're traveling and you want some great chili, you need to stop by Empress Chili. Love this restaurant. 
and you can also find a full listing for them on americasbestrestaurants.com and that's pretty much it for me look i'm hungry i know the people behind the cameras hungry i know randy all just got up from his chair he's about to come tackle me here for food so we're gonna see you guys on the next one